let's look at this uh, challenge uh, which again my uh, daughter brought from school the question is like this if a b and c are different numbers and a squared plus b squared is equal to c cube find the values of a b and c now the important information is a b c are different numbers okay and this is a second fact you want to find a b c now to do this uh, the best way is by guess and check or trial and error method so first let me talk about square numbers okay the square numbers the square numbers are numbers which are uh, square numbers now what do we mean by so one square is one times one which is one this is one is a squ first square number then you've got two squared which is two times two which is four and so on suppose if it is a 15 squared means it is 15 times 15 and I know that is 2 to 5 225 now cubic numbers or cubes now cubes are cubes cubes are one cube is one times one times one which is one so one is also a square and also a cube number or a cubic number two cube means it is two times two times two which is what not six but eight okay three cube is three times three times three which is 27 four cube is four times four times four which is four times four is 16 times four is 64 and finally five cube is five times five times five which is 25 times five which is 125 <coughs> Now to, I will, you can pause this video if you're interested to solve this puzzle and then uh, re or play the video to uh, see what, how I worked it out. Okay, <clears throat> so if you know this information, we can work it out. Okay, so uh, as we're doing the guess and check, you should know how to start. You can do in different ways if you uh, don't go in the right way, you can go in different directions and probably may not get the answer though <coughs> this question seems to be difficult it's not that difficult so what i'm going to do is the best way there can be different ways the way that i have thought is you start with a cube number okay so the first cube that is one so one you can write you cannot write as a square of so one you can maximum write as one plus zero okay so this is not a good choice Okay, so that's over. Now the next cube number is, say, 8. So I want to write 8 as two as the addition of two squares numbers. So if I start with 1, 1 is a square number, so plus 7. But 7 is not a square number, so this is not possible. Okay? Okay, now if you take 8 again, 8 is the next square number of, 1 is 4. So if you go 4 plus uh, 4 plus 4 is 8. Am I right? Yeah. 4 plus 4 is 8. Uh, but the problem is 4 and 4 are the same numbers. Okay. So 2 squared plus 2 squared is 2 cubed. So all are the same numbers. So this is not a possible because the question tells me it's are A, B, C are different numbers. Okay, so let me move on. So if you take 8, the next square number is 9. So it's 9 minus 1. But yeah, again, this is minus, so this will not work. So this is the end of the road. So let me change color. So let me take, now the next cube number is 27. <coughs> if you go 27, I'll start with 1. So 1 plus 26, but the problem I have is 26 is not a square number, so this option is not possible. Again, 27, I can go with 4. 4 plus, what is 27, which is 23. Again, 23 is a problem, doesn't work. 27 can be written as, the next square number is 9. 9 plus, what is 27? 9 plus 18 is 27, this will not work. 
So keep working like this. So the next square number is 16. 16 plus uh, what is 27? 16 plus 11. Am I right? Yeah. So again, this is not working. And finally, you can go 27 is 25 plus 2. So this is not working. So none of the options work. You can't go any further because the next number is 36. Then you have to take away. So you, have, you want the addition of two square number. So let me take the change color. The next cube number is uh, the next cube number is 64. So let's say 64. 64 you will start with 1 plus 63. This is not working. Uh, this is not right. Then 64 is 4 plus 60. Okay, so this is not right. Next number 64. The next is 16 plus what is 64? Uh, 48. Am I right? Yeah. So this is 54 plus 164 again. So this is not right. 64 is 25 plus uh, uh, you want. So this is 39. Am I right? So let me use a calculator. I'm getting confused now. So 64. 64 minus 25 is, oh, 64 minus 25 is 39. I was right though. Okay, the next number is 64 is 36. This is not right. 36 plus what? 36. Okay, I'll go 64 minus 36. My brain is not working. Is 28 plus 28. This is not working. 64, the next square number is? 49 plus what? So 64 minus 49 is well, 64 minus 49. Is, 49 is 15. So plus 15 not working because of this. And finally, 64 is the next number is uh, 64 itself. 8 squared is 64 plus 0. But zero is not a number. It offers a number, but it should be uh, a number other than zero here. Okay, because 64, the 64 is a very interesting number. 64 is also 4 cubed, and it's also, uh, say, 8 squared. Okay. okay, so you can't go any further. So let us now look at, finally, or uh, probably... Finally, I don't know whether it's finally. So let's start with 125. So if you go 125 is 1 plus 124. This is not working because the 124 is not a perfect square. 125, the next square number is 4 plus 121. I want you to stop now and see whether any bell, bells are ringing. Okay, so this number, this equation does it satisfy our condition okay what do you know about 121 121 is 11 squared is 121 and 2 squared is 4 and 5 cube is 125 so we can write this 2 squared plus 11 squared is equal to 5 cube is that fine so what's my a a is 2, B is 11, and C is 5. Hopefully this video has been helpful and fun. See you in the next